Richard, thanks very much for agreeing to talk to me about the programme for our summer concert, our lovely summer concert, Plug, Plug, Waverley Singers, Midsummer Shakespeare in Brensham Church on Sunday the 25th of June. It's going to be a fantastic programme. Well, you've chosen Shakespeare as the theme. What is it about Shakespeare that um, has, has been so appealing to, to composers and musicians over the years? I think Shakespeare, it's funny, isn't it? Because obviously everybody knows that Shakespeare's, you know, one of the greatest writers that ever existed. Um, but I think that for me, uh, especially having a, a, a son who's just gone through GCSEs, this is something which starts at school. And we all study Shakespeare at school and probably don't appreciate it at all. Um, so, so for me now, looking back, I don't pretend to be an English scholar by any means, um, but there's just the richness of the language the invention, um, you know, all this new vocabulary and these wonderful ideas and, and evocative uh, sort of uh, way he can set a scene and and just the constant innovation, um, which I think is what's inspired the composers to be equally innovative and, and write music, which is very kind of evocative of, you know, especially this this the summertime, um, the beautiful setting of French and church. It's, it's just quintessential Englishness really, isn't it? <laughs> and, and there's a lot of music actually in his plays too, isn't there? I mean, there's a lot of musical uh, elements in, in a lot of Shakespeare's plays. Yeah, there's lots of musical references. Um, you know, I think that there would have been um, music to background of the, you know, even, even uh, a lot of the plays would have had music, uh, you know, just to sort of break up the scenes perhaps. And we're going to actually perform a couple of, of um, bits of music which are contemporary for the time, most of the programme is using uh, Shakespeare texts set by modern composers um, or relatively modern composers. Um, but we've got one or two pieces which are actually from composers contemporary for the time, which would have been uh, mostly for single voice. Um, so one of them we've arranged for choir and another one we've, we've got uh, just sopranos singing with, with piano accompaniment, um, just to kind of uh, give a flavour of what actually the, the sort of audiences of Shakespeare's plays at the time would have heard. Yes, and and um, you know some of the, some of the uh, some of the pieces are directly related to uh, scenes from from some of his plays, aren't they? Aren't there? There's the um, you know the tempest uh, crops up, for example. Um, yeah, and probably the most evocative of that is the Vaughan Williams setting. Yeah. So we've got the, the three Shakespearean songs by Vaughan Williams, which are the, the most fantastic music. Vaughan Williams is a is a wonderful composer. Everybody thinks you know it's just English possible, but his his harmonic language is 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 incredible. And 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 there's this depiction of the bells at the beginning of the first one, and then the second one, the cloud cap towers, which has got this luscious harmony with very low, very very low bass notes and you know, chords in sort of 12 parts and very thick harmony and then a very skittish, fast last movement over hill, over dale. So uh, three totally different uh, uh, sort of ideas musically and 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 in the text. Yeah, and quite, so de quite a demanding sing as well, I mean, from a, from a singer's point yeah. of view. <laughs> it's, it's, it's tricky, yeah, unaccompanied and, and in lots of parts and with complex harmony, but very, very beautiful. And great fun, actually. Once you get once you get to know it, it's really really brilliant stuff. I and mean, it is extraordinary how how so many composers of, of completely completely different genres. You know, they've uh, they've, they've all gone for it. And, and and we've got some very, as you say, some also some contemporary composers, um, some of whom I, you know quite well. So maybe tell us a bit more about um, some of the, the the more modern things in the in the in the program. Yeah, so I mean, there are there are several people that I work with or have known. Um, perhaps the, the the I mean, we've got a, the, a, an arrangement of set. Uh, we're doing the Shakespearean songs set by Ian Farrington. They're not all Shakespeare. I think two, three of them are Shakespeare. Um, you know, Ian has a, uh, just had music performed at the coronation. Um, he arranged some of the music for the coronation. He wrote an organ piece for before the coronation. Um, so he and he's written commissions for the last night of the proms recently. So he's very much in the current eye. He was um, been a colleague of mine for for a long time and has played for Waverley Singers concerts in the past. Um, then there's um, Will Todd, who we're doing his Mass in Blue. Who we've commissioned from the past. Uh, we've commissioned a piece from him in the past, so he's a friend of the choir. So we're doing Will Todd's Mass in Blue um, next spring, I think. 
Yeah, absolutely. So Mass in Blue is Will's most famous work. And he's um, it's the piece that's maybe put him on the map more than others. He's had hundreds and hundreds, probably thousands of performances. Um, and and uh, so so we've got to do a little piece by him. It was a lover and his lass, which is uh, quite a funky. He's, all his music has got a little bit of jazz in it. And this has got a very kind of, you know, it's not your classic choral society repertoire. A lot of this program is not classic choral society repertoire. That's really why we're enjoying it. It's a chance to let, let our hair down. We've got, you know, um, West Side Story, which is, of course, a, a Romeo and Juliet um, re reworking. Trying to let the hair down, certainly. Yeah, absolutely. We get to that. You know, those of us who've got hair, can let it, can, they can let it down. I won't be letting any hair down, but, but there we are. But we were talking about the other composers, and, and Owen Park is uh, principal guest conductor of the BBC Singers, so I work with him all the time there. He's written a very, very beautiful piece, uh, Shall I Compare Thee to a Summer's Day, which is, um, you know, he wrote when he was in his early 20s and it's just just fabulous piece very very wistful and 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 uh, very beautiful then we've got bob chilcott of course uh, we all know is one of the best um most with john rutter one of the best popular composers today a very skillful choral composer and again somebody that i, I work with every year um and uh who else have we got um Sarah Cortell, she is again published by UP, a Canadian composer. Um, she's just a wonderful melodic gift, um, very simple music in a way, and um, but but very very touching. And again, just inspired by these amazing Shakespearean words, which yeah. give you such a head up. I mean, from the choir's point of view, it's it's, a, it's quite challenging because there's no there's no sort of single musical idiom to get to get your sort of head around, is there? You have to sort of be able to move from a lot of different styles and, and but actually over time I mean certainly what I find is you know as I as I sort of leave the rehearsal at the end of the evening and drive home you know little earworms are starting to to get to work and I think um, by, by the time of the concert you know th these these things will be pretty well established and, and really terrific fun to sing actually. Well definitely it's always a kind of a bit of a gamble when you've got lots of um, I mean, a, a program comprised of lots of different pieces it's always harder to learn in some ways uh, than another in that um, you know if you happen to be away for one rehearsal you might completely miss that piece altogether so you've not got the style uh, but on the other hand I think that can be it can be very rewarding because you're you're getting an overview of a whole genre really so, you, so we've taken this book which has been published um, which is a collection of Shakespearean settings of which we've got about five or six of these works and it's just interesting to see how different composers respond to to texts so there are similarities between those works, but there's obviously very great differences. And the, the Bernstein's the, the one that's probably the most different. Maybe together we've got the Alan Shearing, um, sorry, the Shearing Songs and Sonnets from Shakespeare, which we're doing um, a selection of. Uh, they're also slightly more jazzy, yeah. um, but, but very accessible. So it's, it's for the listener very accessible too. And the really nice thing it must be must be nice for you particularly because every every Thursday night you you work with Jakob uh, Rotov, our accompanist, and you know he's he's fantastic accompanist, a, a real good friend of the choir in terms of how he you know how he supports us. Um, but it's it's wonderful that um, he's going to be able to be our accompanist working with you at the concert as well. Absolutely, I mean Jake has been a very great friend of the choir for a long time. He's accompanied the choir for most of the time that I've been conductor. Um, and and makes a very inconvenient journey from East London to Farnham, sorry, every week to come and accompany us. And, you know, often, most of the time, really, he doesn't see the fruits of the of the labours because most of our concerts are with orchestra and organ and, and Dick is a pianist, but so it's only the piano concerts that we do. So he plays for the opera concerts and um, and and this one, which is really great. So it's, it's lovely to have him on board and to take that rehearsal all the way through to the concert platform with him. Yeah, because he's such a loyal friend. Well, it's going to be great. Um, Sunday, the 25th of June, five o'clock, Frensham Church. Lovely sunny day, we hope. No rain, no mud in the car park. It's going to be a great concert. Probably some wine. Oh, of course, of wine in the drinks in the interval. And, um, you know, any, anything left over, the choir will probably polish off at the end. So thanks very much, Richard. Look forward to, um, very much looking forward to the concert and thanks again for your time. Not at all, it's going to be a lovely evening. Thanks, Mike.